Hi students. We're going to talk about chord progressions using secondary triads today. So this is the third video. Um, the first video was the triads of the scale, how they fit into the scale. The second one was the primary chord progressions. And now this one is using primary and also secondary triads. So as I explained in the triads of the scale, um, chords flow easily from one to the next if they have notes in common. So for example, in the key of C, the four chord, as you remember from the previous video, was F, A, C. So the primary chords are the one, four, and five. So from the C chord, we could easily go to the four chord. But if you look really closely, F, A, C, and D, F, A, very closely related. If I take the D and put it over here, now it's even more closely related to the four chord. So there's the four chord, and this is the two chord, or supertonic chord. I put that in, the, in first inversion. So that's the root position of the D minor, supertonic, that's first inversion. So on page three of your packet, titled Chord Progression Including Supertonic Chord. You have the root notes in the left hand, C, F, G, G, C. Now some of these chords are in inversions and that's what those Roman numerals, uh, what we call figured bass, are underneath. So the first chord is the tonic, one chord. Then we're gonna go to the two chord in first inversion. Then we're going to go to the one six four. That's the one chord in second inversion. You go to the five seven. That's the dominant with the seventh included and back to the tonic. So the tonic to the supertonic is a nice parallel move. if you want to enrich the sound, some pedal. Okay, let me show you the rest of that example. So this is the same progression now in F major. Remember we need B flats in this key. So now F is the tonic, then super tonic, first inversion. Tonic and second inversion, five, seven, to tonic. Same progression now in the key of G major. So now G is the tonic. We have A minor as the supertonic. That's in first inversion. Tonic in second inversion. Five seven. Back to tonic. Okay, that's the first half of page three. The second half of page three is another progression that has the six chord or the submediant chord. So here's our tonic. One, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth note of the scale is A. So that's our submediant chord. So A minor and C major have two out of three notes in common. So again, you can see a nice smooth transition from the C major. to do is change the G to an A. Now I'm on the submediant in first inversion. Now if I just change the E to an F, now I've slipped into the four chord, also inversion. Right, so our four chord would be one, two, three, four. So I just took the C, put it over here. smooth progression from one to six to four to five to one. Okay, that's page three. Now I'm going to move on to page four, which is, has some nice long strings of chords that you can see and hear will move smoothly from one to the next. So the first one goes from the tonic, C major, to the submediant, 
that's A minor, to the subdominant, F major, to the supertonic, that's D minor, to the tonic and second inversion, dominant seven, back to tonic. So one more time, that's one chord, six chord, four chord, two chord, one chord, five seven, tonic. Here's the same progression in the key of F. Starting with the F up here, that's the F chord in first inversion. Six, which is D minor. B flat major, four chord. G minor chord, it's a two chord. F major, C7, or dominant seventh of F. Back to tonic. Here's the progression in G. I'm gonna go ahead and add octaves in the left hand just for fun in this one. Pedal to connect it. Two chord. One, six, four, five, seven. Another nice thing you can do at the end is use that 5-7 chord, you can step through that. So if you go from a 1-6-4, get a little step beam motion there. Okay, the last example on page 4, another string of chords. This one goes from 1-4-7-3-6-2-5-1. So what happens here is the bass line, the bass line is going to be all in root position here, no inversions in the bass. Uh, you'll see it goes in a very clear pattern. So from C, root, tonic, we go up a fourth to the fourth chord, down a fifth, now we're on the seven chord, up a fourth again, now we're on the three chord. Down another fifth to the sixth, up a fourth, down a fifth, and up a fourth. So by going fourth, fifth, fourth, fifth with your intervals, you end up going through every chord of the key. Up a fourth, down a fifth, up a fourth, down a fifth, up a fourth, down a fifth, and back to tonic is what happens when we put the chords. If you look at the chords, every other chord is inverted. And that, again, it creates uh, places for the common tones to stay in one place. So from the C chord to the F chord, that C stays put. And from seven to three, we keep the B in one place. And from six to two, the A is still on top in both of those. And then five to one, G stays put. So here's that all put together. Very nice, smooth progression. Here's the same one in F. Don't forget your B flats. Same one in G major with our F sharps now. Okay, so that was page three and four in your packet. I hope you can get comfortable with all those and see how those secondary triads really enrich the harmonic progressions. Happy practicing.